My final point on therapy is as follows. It is detrimental. Not only is it useless, not only is it not a science, not only is it bullshit, it actually makes people worse. What? Sitting there crying about bad things is never gonna help you. If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you need someone to talk to, to make me feel better, do you know what you are? You're useless. So, should you go to therapy? Let's talk about it. So I've been asked a lot about my experience with therapy and whether I would recommend it. So just as a backstory, I went to therapy last year for around five months, I believe. And after five to six months, I decided to end it. The type of therapy I did was CBT, which I think is cognitive behavioral therapy. So it's basically talk therapy, like you just chat with a the therapist. So things to consider before you, you know, sign up to therapy. The first thing I would say is, have you tried anything else? So have you tried any self-help, like things like meditating, just talking to friends or family about your issues, practicing gratitude, you know, that sort of thing. And also what type of therapy do you want? Because there are actually many different types of therapy, not just talk therapy. Because not all people, you know, get the same benefits from talking about the issues. And lastly, can you afford it? Because if we're being honest, therapy is not free <laughs> and it's not cheap. Uh, the cheapest option is online therapy, but of course that's not for everyone either. So, so let's talk about my experience with therapy. O overall, I would say the experience was pretty good. There's not much bad I can say about it, if I'm being honest. I might have been lucky, but that was my experience. So the first step is choosing a therapist. So who do you want to talk to? I would recommend you actually take time to think, like what type of person do you want to talk to? What, what type of person would you feel comfortable opening up to you. And for me, a like older fatherly type figure. I chose a therapist who was both my same ethnicity, so a black, my same heritage, Nigerian, and my same gender, so a man. So a older Nigerian man. And no surprise there, it's mainly because this is the figure that I kind of lacked when I was growing up because I did have a father, but we weren't close like that. And of course, this will be different for everyone. Regarding the actual therapy, before you just blindly jump into therapy, you need to do some self analysis. So that basically can just mean like what parts of your life do you feel like you need help with? I would recommend you write this down, be as like meticulous as you can. The more in depth you are, the more value you actually get from your sessions. Because you can't just rely on your therapist to, you know, just analyze you completely and know exactly what you need. Because they are strangers, we don't actually know you. And another thing, therapy is not like the movies. Like, you basically need to not come to therapy thinking that the therapist's job is to fix you, because that's not what's gonna happen. This is something I literally didn't know until I went to therapy, but therapy is led by you. So you lead the discussions, not the therapist. The therapist is there to basically bounce off you and kind of give you a alternative perspective to your like self-talk. And they'll often open the session with, you know, so, what do you want to talk about today? I had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you wait. And if you're not ready for that question, you're gonna be just sitting there like uh, uh, I don't know I don't know. And before you know it, your session's gonna be over. So uh, so I definitely suggest you you know come prepared with some talking points to just save time. You will only get as much out of therapy as you put in. If you just come to therapy thinking you know I'm just doing this and hope that I just get better. You're just gonna let it go wherever it goes. It's gonna go nowhere. This is your life. Like the, the therapist has their own life and they're not here to, you know, fix your life. And just remember, this is a service that you're paying for. So don't be shy to voice your opinions and, you know, voice how you feel about things. The more open you are with your therapist, the faster you'll be able to build a connection that can actually lead you to, you know, actually getting some value out of your sessions. Because the first couple of sessions will be basically just like getting background information on who you are. So don't expect the first session just to be suddenly, oh, you're already on the line to, you know, fixing the shit. Like the first couple of sessions will be like a kind of kind of feeling out process. You're both trying to see what vibe each other is on. And also I really suggest you take an, like a pen and pad or something to write on during your sessions. Because otherwise, like I used to do in my first couple of sessions, I would have my session and as soon as it's over, I've just forgot everything. Stupid. So, if you're a bit like me and you're kind of forgetful, I really recommend you take notes and, you know, write down for talking points and anything interesting you hear your therapist say. So yeah, I would say talk therapy is very useful for people that suffer with, you know, negative self-talk or just like negative thoughts in general because they basically will offer you a an opposing opinion to, you know, this first thought that we often just 
presume it's the correct one. So that's why it's really important to not hold back. So like, don't feel like there's certain things you can and can't say, because you'll only be cheating yourself if you do. And just remember, the therapists are human and they will make errors. So they might, you know, forget what topic you were talking about last week or maybe get you mixed up with someone else or something like that. But don't take it to heart. Just know that it's up to you to, you know, dictate the flow of the conversation and where it goes. And just remember that just because it took me, you know, five to six months or whatever to complete my, my, you know, therapy or whatever, don't feel like you have to match this time period or, you know, there's a certain amount of time you need to be in therapy. It takes different times for everyone. Some, some people may, you know, just need a couple sessions. Other people might, may need to be in therapy for years, potentially. If you have any other questions about therapy or that kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments and I'll, you know, do my best to get back to you guys. So yeah, peace.